Hey, this is Brett. Uh, got a 1947 Stinson here. And while we were at Oshkosh this year, I picked up a uh, replacement navigation light system and I uh, got this from uh, Aircraft Spruce. And what this is, is a set of three replacement navigation bulbs that are LEDs. And these LEDs are supposedly uh, much brighter than the uh, incandescent bulbs. Um, and you get, uh, you get your three bulbs here, uh, and then uh, replacement um, covers or lenses for them. The unique feature that I'm enthused, bes besides just brighter uh, lights, is the fact that these will strobe uh, to make your plane more visible. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I got these. And you go to other aircraft supply manufacturers and they, they, don't, they don't even know what you're talking about. So Aircraft Spruce is the uh, place that sells them. Uh, this is a um, kit here by NAB, NAV Strobe Lighting Limited, the Sextant 40 watt. And I uh, hope this is the right kit because I had to wait for about 30 days after I got back from Oshkosh to, to get this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm obviously inside the hangar, and I'm going to turn the lights on on the, the plane uh, with the hangar light on, and I'll walk around the airplane and also take some still pictures, and then turn the lights off, then replace the bulbs and do this again. So to give you a better visual of, uh, or a visual of how much brighter they are. Very unscientific uh, uh, testing here. So let's get started. Okay, so starting at the uh, rear of the aircraft, uh, we've got the nav lights on and there's the tail light, which is supposed to be clear. I'm colorblind, a little bit of colorblind, so I struggle a little bit at these colors, and let's see over here. On the wing tip, there's the red. As you can see, it's, the red is not all that bright. And let's see what the, uh, the green is over on the, the right wing. Okay, so I'm going to turn the hangar lights off, and you can uh, I'll walk over. Okay, so I'm at the nose of the airplane now, looking straight back, and there's the right wing. You see the glow of the green and the glow of the red off the hangar walls. And the tail is the brightest. Okay. So let me get some still images of uh, this as well. And see what this looks like. One point I want to mention is I think one of the big advantages is the LEDs will have is replacing the colored lenses uh, the green and the red, and the LEDs actually going to be uh, generating the color. I think that's going to be a big benefit and allow the LEDs to be that much brighter. It's really poor in my hangar here, but uh, I've got the first bulb out, and uh, I guess I never have really observed these uh, original bulbs. They're, they're actually better than what I thought they would be. Um, kind of an odd shaped bulb there with a the reflective back, so. Um, Reasonable good technology for 1947. Um, one thing I did note is uh, how hot uh, this bulb was after my short test. I didn't realize they, they, they got that hot. So they're obviously pulling quite a bit of power. Uh, I went to check my amp meter, but then realized because I still have a generator uh, 
at least my amp meter doesn't show anything on the ground without running it up. So I was not able to uh, do any type of accurate uh, amp draw test at uh, static load. Uh, but I, you can assume that the uh, LED is going to be a lot more efficient. I'll see if I can find that on the, uh, on the specs for the, the new bulbs. I observed it uh, had some rust uh, on the metal bracket and uh, made sure that the power was off and took a stainless steel brush and, and uh, cleaned that uh, socket out there as well as some of the screws. Uh, these lights come with a um, dielectric grease that I will put under the base of the, uh, the bulb, but also just to keep these, uh, uh, this mount and these screws from or corroding or rusting anymore, I'm going to spray on my, one of my favorite products, Corrosion X. Uh, under there to help protect it. Okay, got the first bulb in and this is the green side and uh, the lights not on yet but uh, you can see that the clear uh, dome is going to help versus the the original green one that restricted the light quite a bit and uh, so I put dielectric grease that comes with the kit on the, the bulb and uh, I cleaned out the socket with a stainless steel brush. Uh, I also sprayed around the inside uh, with Corrosion X. And uh, cor uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Corrosion X, Corrosion X is also dielectric, meaning that uh, it is non-conductive. Very, very good material. So let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Hanger lights on and whoo, it does look a lot brighter here. So let's just look over to the red side here so you can compare and then we'll turn the hanger lights off. There's the red side. Of course, folks, remember we're looking at the difference between 72-year-old technology or whatever that is. I'm gonna turn the hanger light off and uh, there's the green side and you can see the red side reflecting off the wall over here and there it is now remember what that looks like reflecting off the wall there now there's the green side so that's uh, that's significant now I'm going to turn it on to flash so the way I understand you turn this on is you turn it on and then you wait four seconds and then you turn it back on. So let's see if this works. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Oh my, whoo, look at that. So what I like about this is you're actually getting two strobe patterns in one light. And, you know, I don't normally use position lights in the daytime. I guarantee you that I'm gonna use them now. This is gonna make flying a whole lot safer around uh, other aircraft. So I think we're on the right track. Uh, go ahead and get the uh, rest of the plane done and we could probably have a disco party in here. Okay, got all three lights on. As you can see, the hangar light is on here. So back to our, our new LED green light. And you can see the red one reflecting off the wall over there. We're gonna just walk around the, the, the airplane and then we will shut the lights off. And then, well, you know, before we do that, we we'll had to turn them on to strobe first. Uh, got the, the rear one on too. It's quite a bit brighter. The rudder's cocked over there a bit. Let's turn it on. Before we turn the hangar lights off, we're gonna put them on strobe. So I'm coming into my airplane here. I know you can't see this, so I'm gonna turn it off. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's the right wing. left wing
this is going to be so much more visible. Well, I like the tail, how that flashes too. So much more visible than the old standard bulbs. Some people have asked, well, are these FAA approved? You know, I think so. Uh, that's what they told me when they were, when I bought them from them. But you know, at this point, safety is more important than approval to me. Uh, okay, so we're gonna shut the uh, lights off. And yeah, we could uh, almost have a disco party in here. This is awesome. This is gonna be so much more visible. The red, of course, is the one that's the not as bright, but it's, uh, I think that's a little imitation of LED technology. Okay, so now let's turn them. You know, I may not be able to not make it flash. I think I've got to leave it off for two minutes so it doesn't flash. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, all the new LEDs are on and they're on just a standard rate glow. And we'll turn the hanger light off one more time to give you an idea. And then I'll see if we can take a couple stills and probably a better way to compare with the stills. Hanger door is closed, but you can see the sun is a little brighter peeking through some of the holes in the, the hanger door there. So, and go back to the tail. That appears to be much brighter. Oh yeah, whew, get a suntan from that. Okay, we'll put it on disco mode one more time. And so we shut her down, one, two, three, four, back on. Strobe mode, disco mode, whatever you want to call it. And let's see here. All right. You see the tail flashing back there. And the green side. So, so if you like flying old airplanes like I do, but uh, you want to make them as safe as possible, I would encourage you to consider uh, checking these uh, uh, LEDs out, replacement LEDs, available through uh, Aircraft Spruce. I think they do a, a, a good job. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, being a little more visible in the, the skies as a fly. Happy flying, everybody. Be safe.